Hi, this is Dan from CPV Lab Pro. Today I will explain about tracking pixels and postback URLs in CPV Lab Pro. I will offer details about the differences between a tracking pixel and a postback URL, when to use a tracking pixel and when to use a postback URL, where to find a tracking pixel and postback URL for a campaign, how to integrate with your affiliate or CPA networks, how to track sales when running your own offers. Both the tracking pixel and the postback URL are methods to track conversions in CPV Lab Pro. They are the way your affiliate or CPA network tells CPV Lab Pro that one of your visitors purchased the offer and that you gain a revenue. Some offer sources support only tracking pixels, other sources support only postback URLs, but CPV Lab Pro implements both options in order to work with any kind of network. So what is the difference between a tracking pixel and a postback URL? Well, the main difference comes from the way they are integrated by the offer source. The tracking pixel, also known as browser-based tracking or cookie-based tracking, consists of an HTML element that the offer source will include in the page. It means that the tracking pixel is executed in the context of the visitor and it gets included in the page that the visitor sees after purchasing the offer. This is the confirmation or the thank you page. The postback URL, also known as server to server tracking, is a special URL that the offer source calls from a separate process for each converting visitor. Unlike tracking pixel, the postback URL is not included in the page visitors see, it doesn't use the tracking cookie and it is executed in a separate process by the offer source. The postback URL uses a unique code passed from CPV Lab Pro to the offer source for each visitor called subID. The subID will be passed back to CPV Lab Pro in the postback URL for each conversion in order to identify the converting visitor. The advantages of pixel tracking are that it is easy to implement as you only need to copy and paste a piece of HTML code from CPV Lab Pro to the offer source and also that it remains the same for all offer sources, it doesn't change its format. But the disadvantages are that sometimes the tracking pixel won't fire in case the visitor cleared the browser cache or for some mobile devices and also that lately browsers tend to include anti-tracking mechanism that may block the tracking pixels. The main advantage of postback URL tracking is that it is more reliable because the postback URL call is done in a separate process and not directly in the visitor's browsers. It works even if the browser blocks tracking links and it works on mobile devices as well. The disadvantages are that it is more difficult to implement because it requires setting up the sub ID using the token accepted by each offer source and also that the postback URL will change from one offer source to another based on the token accepted by each of them. So which one is better to use? Both tracking methods are accepted by CPV Lab Pro and you can use the one that you feel more comfortable with. Our advice is to always use the postback URL when your affiliate network or CPA network accepts it because it offers more accurate results and won't miss conversions, even if the integration may be more complex. Use the tracking pixel when your affiliate network doesn't accept postback URLs or when you are promoting your own offers and you have full control over the offer and the confirmation or thank you page. Where do I find the tracking pixel and postback URL for my campaign? CPV Lab Pro offers three types of tracking pixels. The first one is the image pixel which uses an image HTML element and it is the most popular tracking pixel. The second one is the iframe pixel, which uses an iframe HTML element. And the third one is the script pixel, which uses a JavaScript HTML element. You can use any one of them, it depends on what your offer source allows you to enter in the confirmation or thank you page. Most of the times they only allow the image pixel to be used. After you finish the campaign setup in CPV Lab Pro, you will find the tracking pixels and postback URL in the links and pixels section near the bottom of the campaign setup page. The integration is pretty straightforward. You will just copy the tracking pixel version that you need from the campaign setup page and paste it in your offer source interface. At the end of the tracking pixels section, you will find the postback URL. Notice that it contains a part that says sub ID here. This needs to be replaced with a token or macro for the sub ID supported by your offer source. 
Also make sure that you have selected the option to append sub ID to your offer and that you have ended the offer URL with a parameter followed by the equal sign. Notice how I have ended my offer URL by sub equal. Additionally, you can use the CPV Lab Pro dedicated token to mark where the sub ID should appear in the offer URL like I have done for this second offer. The integration of the postback URL in your offer source requires knowing the token used by the offer source for passing back the sub ID. Here is an example of integrating the postback URL in affiliate networks that use Cake Platform. You will end the offer URL in CPV Lab Pro with the S1 parameter followed by the equal sign and choose to append the sub ID to the offer URL. This means that the CPV Lab Pro sub ID, which is unique for each visitor, will be passed to the offer source in the S1 parameter. When you submit the postback URL to the offer source, you will replace the sub ID here part by the special token, so the postback URL becomes like this. If working with offer sources based on Has Offers platform, then you would enter the offer URL with the F click ID parameter followed by the equal sign. When submitting the postback URL to the offer source based on Has Offers platform, you would replace the sub ID here part by their special token, like this. But what if I have my own offers and don't use an affiliate network? If running your own offers or your own e-commerce website, then the easiest solution would be to use the image version of the tracking pixel and place it in the confirmation page or receipt page or any page that visitors are redirected to after completing an order. Because the tracking pixel uses cookies to identify the visitor that purchased, you don't have to add the sub ID to the tracking pixel. Just copy the image pixel from the campaign setup page and paste it in the confirmation page from your website. These are the details about tracking pixels and postback URLs. I hope they were useful. If you have any questions related to this, feel free to write a comment below or to contact the CPV Lab Pro support team. In the next video, I will show you how you can pass the conversion payout or revenue from your offer source to CPV Lab Pro. This is very useful when you have variable payouts from your offers. Until then, have a good day and profitable campaigns.